please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. Dress code check. Teacher, please check for dress code compliance. Good morning, PCHS, and welcome back to the Bearson News. I'm Cornon Zacker. And I'm Aiden Fagan. Today is Tuesday, April 26th. EOB testing is this morning for AB, early childhood, and teacher education. Those students who are testing should report to the Bear Conference Room at 8.30. We offer a big thanks this week to Ms. Lusher and the prom committee for a successful prom. And congratulations once again to our prom prince and princess, Davis Hersey and Kenzie Meeks. And to our prom king and queen, Dayton Baker and Natalie Griffin. EOP testing also begins this week. We start with American Lit tomorrow and Thursday. Teachers, check your email from Mr. Tommy Dolls for details. Seniors, some scholarships have not yet closed. Deadlines that remain open, including the Holt Roland Scholarship, April 29th. The David Skinner Ag Scholarship, May 2nd. The PBNJ Scholarship, May 31st. The PEO Star Scholarship, May 10th. Kane Hall Growing Your Community Scholarship, June 15th and Theresa Mumford Memorial Fund prior to the student's 18th birthday. The deadline to order graduation yard signs is this Friday. There are three designs available. Email the pictures for your sign to Ms. Whitaker. Powderpuff players need to pay $20 for their shirts this week. You can pay via PayPal or with cash or check to Ms. L Ms. Sinet or Ms. Delaney. The Powderpuff game is scheduled for May 6th. Remember the annual book drive sponsored by Work-Based Learning, which continues this week. All books collected will be used to refill the lending libraries around town. The drive starts now and will go until Wednesday, May 4th. The first period class that collects the most books wins a Jerry J's breakfast, which will, which will be delivered on May 6th. And the PCHS course and theater department will present the Broadway musical Little Women on May 5th, 6th, and 7th. Tickets will be sold $10 at the door. Make plans now to attend. Trouts for the next year's Spirit Cheer Squad will be May 16th through the 18th from 5.30 to 8.30 after school in the cheer room. Please scan the QR form and fill out the form if you plan to try out. In sports, volleyball trouts will be next Monday through Wednesday, May 2nd through the 4th from 3.45 to 6 p.m. each day. You must have a current physical. See Coach Byers to sign up. The boys and girls region track tournaments will be in Bearville this week. Field events will be held today starting 10.30 a.m. at the middle school. Running events will be Thursday. 10.30, also at BCMS. Good luck to boys and girls golf competing today at the area golf tournament in Morgan County. The region champion baseball bears have several days to prepare their opening round of the state playoffs. That series begins Friday and will be played here in Bearville. It's a doubleheader, doubleheader versus Johnson of Savannah beginning at 5 p.m. Now here is Rupp Wright with today's weather forecast. Thanks guys. Hi, I'm filling in for Jojo today, and today will be a high of 87, a low of 61, and a 10% chance of rain. Tonight's sunset will be at 8.04, tomorrow's sunrise will be at 6.48. Now here's Natalie. Happy birthday today to Tucker Hewitt, Owen Ronecker, and Sean Zabeo, and Mr. John Dupont. We hope you all have a great day. Here's a look at what's cooking in the Bears Cafe. In the Bears Den line, nachos with chili and cheese. Kicking chicken includes chicken nuggets with roll. Pizza line includes pizza and burgers. All lines feature PB&J and crustables and grab and go salad. For breakfast tomorrow, pancake bar or cereal choice. 
Today's quote of the day is, Liberty is maintained by responsible freedom. Roger W. Hancock. The PBIS focus this month is responsibility. Remember to be responsible, respectful, and safe. Thanks and go Bears.